On the 8th of February 1981, the children of Bangalore, India had one thing on their mind, the circus. The Venus Circus was in town, full of daring human exhibition, animal acts and entertainment shows not to be missed. It was the last day of the circus and school children formed the bulk of the audience. Unfortunately, this would be a circus none of the attendees would ever forget. It had just hit 6.45 in the evening when the afternoon show had come to an end. Due to this being the last day of the circus, circus management had thrown the gates open which attracted an audience of over 4,000 people. The tent roared with children's laughter and applause as trapeze artist Bashir had just flung himself from the swings and took a bow. However, the cheering was short-lived as moments later they were drowned out with cries that echoed from the top row of the gallery. The cries bellowed, fire, there's a fire. The central flank of the high dome tent had set on fire and smoke engulfed the tent in seconds. The lights turned off and the roof started to crumble. Children wailed as men made their way to the exit. The adults jumped off the seats at the top, throwing chairs and trampling everything in their way to get out of the tent, including over the children at the front. It took a total of 10 minutes for the entire tent to reduce to ashes, leaving it in ruins. The disaster claimed 92 lives, 56 of which were children. It came to light that more children were killed in the stampede than the actual fire itself. Several of the victims were burned beyond recognition, and this tragedy is considered the worst in Indian circus history. All of the fire trucks in Bangalore rushed to the scene and the effort shown by the rescue crew saved many lives. A total of 119 patients were treated in the burn centre at Victoria Hospital. Theories about what started the fire soon spread around, many thinking it was a discarded cigarette. The government soon ordered an inquiry, but the cause is still unknown to this day. Other theories have included the power lines which ran above the tent and a food stand which operated nearby. Allegedly, the circus had no license for the show and had two notices to demolish the circus as the location was unsafe, but the owners of the circus had backing of some powerful politicians. Within a week, reports noted that the circus had moved on and changed its name. To this day, no charges have been made. This disaster brought to the surface the best and worst in human nature. The worst being the selfish people who disregarded other lives for their own, resulting in the death of many children. However, the rescue crew, volunteers and circus performers who selflessly risked their lives are the real heroes of this story and deserve to be remembered.